Hi, this is Kim Wilkins, aka Tech Kim, and today I want to introduce you to Mozilla's web literacy map. I'm actually starting here at my wiki, techkimweb.wikispaces.com, because this is a space where I collect resources about web and digital literacies. I teach website design development, so those resources are here. And then, as you know, technology is always changing, so I always find some cool new things to be learning, and I collect those things here, too. We're going to start at the web literacy map and just click on the image and that'll take us to the Mozilla site. Just a little bit of history about the web literacy map. Mozilla started working on it in 2012 and last October they launched the first version of it. They're currently working on the second version and all along the process they've been building up a community of educators and students to give them feedback and input and ideas for teaching these skills uh, across the world. It's been a really great community to be involved with and as you explore the web literacy map you'll see um, the contributions from community members and ways to get connected. I'm going to encourage you to uh, sign in to the Mozilla site. There's a couple reasons for that. The first is as you're going through the skills you're able to learn, earn badges and those badges are kept in an electronic backpack associated with your login. The second reason is you'll also be able to create web artifacts and Mozilla has three different tools, uh, x-ray goggles, thimble, and popcorn maker and if you create an artifact with any of those resources they're going to be saved under your login under something called my makes and so that's a way that you'll have these resources to use and share for the future. So why is web literacy so important? I'm sure you've heard headlines about uh, net neutrality issues. In fact today, September 10th is Internet Slowdown Day. Um, variety of internet sites are encouraging folks to write to the FCC about uh, net neutrality. There's also been lots of reports about NSA spying and then there's recently been hacking in the news, especially photos that were taken out of iCloud and um, credit card hacks. And these can, things can seem overwhelming and something we have very little control of, but I believe that the more we know about the underlying technology that builds the web and the internet, the more control and the more better choices that we'll make about how we interact with the web and how we make stuff on the web. So I'm a big believer in moving from just being consumers of web content to creators of things on the web. And the literacy map will help you do that. There's three different sections. There's exploring and navigating the web. There's building, creating for the web. And there's connecting, participating on the web. And each of these has uh, skills that you can drill down into. So I'm going to go ahead and just select search. And you'll see each of the skill levels has similar information. It has a definition of what the skill is, different um, skills that you'll learn within, within it, and then each area has a discover, make, and teach track. The discover is where are pointers to other places on the web where you can learn more about the skill. So there's going to be links and things that you can take. Make is where you can actually experiment and create and contribute your own content um, based on that particular skill. And then teach is where you're going to find open education resources that have been created by community members to help teach that particular skill. So I'm just going to go into one of these to show you an example. This is an example of an activity kit. It's created with the thimble tool and in it there's step-by-step -step instructions, materials you need, ideas for discussion, and then links to other helpful resources. The idea is that within this kit you have everything you need to teach this particular skill or to learn it yourself. Then I'll just go back to the whole map itself. I spend a lot of time myself on the um, teaching the building, creating for the web skills, and then connecting and participating. There's actually a lot of ways to get involved with that. There's the Maker Party, which has been going on now. Um, these are events happening all over the country and actually all over the world where you can 
connect with other people in the community who are interested in learning about a particular skill and doing it in a fun and interesting way. Also in December, there's the Hour of Code, which is another great uh, way to bring these kind of activities into the classroom where maybe they're not seeing as much uh, a lighter day as they should be. And if you can continue going on, here are ways that you can get connected um, to the community. Under training, you'll see that there's always ongoing training. Uh, right now they're doing a section on net neutrality, uh, but you'll find that if you go back here, there's lots of different uh, training things you can sign up for. Also, the Teach the Web hashtag on Twitter is a great way to follow what's going on with the web literacy map. If you go to Explore, you'll see these are the resources that people from around the world are making and sharing. And then you can take these resources and um, remix them for your own use as well. And then finally, you can create your own teaching kits, help with translation, get more involved as a mentor as I am. There's just so many ways to get involved. And I'd highly encourage you to um, find an opportunity to get connected with somebody else that's doing uh, Teach the Web and web literacy in the community. Uh, as I said, they're currently working on 2.0, so as you come back to this website, you're going to see more additions, more changes, but sort of the bones of letter web literacy, what it means, these uh, particular skills are, are pretty consistent, and you'll probably just see additions to those. Anyway, I really hope you enjoy uh, going through this and learning about it, and I'd love to hear any feedback you have on experiences using the web literacy map. Good luck.